today we're here to check out this 2021 Imagine by Grand Design, the 2970 RL. I'm Kevin. And I'm Amy. And these are our friends, Mike and Jane. Hi. Hi. And they're going to show us around their camper. Welcome. Welcome to our camper. So on the front we have a power jack that uh, puts it up and down, has a light so you can see when you're hooking up. I keep it covered so the water and the sun don't beat it and ruin it. Um, we have two 20 pound propane tanks that uh, sit on the tongue. 20 pound instead of 30 pound for a reduction in weight because that really counts when you're sitting at a seasonal site. I absolutely love the storage on the Grand Designs. They have what they call a drop pass through. So there's an awful lot of room for you to get in. And there's a motion sensor lights in there as well. So when you open the door, the lights come on. So you can store all your uh, dumping and water and propane. And we have a grill and a fire pit um, and a Blackstone that all stow away in there. Has a Bluetooth feature that allows you to control um, a lot of the functions of the trailer. You can turn the outside lights on and off. You can turn the water heater on and off. Um, put the slides in and out. You can extend the awning remotely. One thing that I learned is that with these uh, new lipper awnings with the stretch, you're supposed to put them out a foot, let them rest for a few seconds, and then put them out the rest of the way. Helps protect the seals. <laughs> so we like that feature. And then we chose to have slide toppers installed over our opposing slides to keep water birds, leaves, and all that off the top of the slide so I don't have to climb up on the roof and clean it. And we found with the large slide on the back side, there's um, the water would weigh down if we got a lot of rain. So I, my solution that I came up with is a three quarter inch PVC water pipe with a bunch of fittings. So I created a, a tripod on each end with connections and then there's a a T in the middle with a leg that holds it up so that stops the slide topper from sagging down under the rain and allows it to just roll off the front. There's a connection underneath, quick connect for the propane. So we use that to cook up, to hook up the Blackstone. I don't have to run it on a one pound tank or connect it to the uh, 20 pounds directly. I can just connect it up there. Yeah, there's on the slide, there's an outlet for you to connect 110 power equipment. I use it to run a fridge that we have in our um, shed. There's also a connection out here for a TV, if you want to run your TV out here off the antenna. One, one of the things that we really love about the Imagines is all the windows. It's very open and spacious because there's windows everywhere. And of course that gives us a lot of ventilation when it's cool enough to have the windows open and enjoy the, the uh, fresh outdoors. There's a ladder on the back to climb up on the roof that I don't intend to ever use because I'm too old for that. If I have to get up on that roof, I'm putting the ladder up on an angle. That's the backside slide with the uh, kitchen in it and the TV. So the TV, the fireplace, and um, the refrigerator and stove are in that slide. Because the fridge is in a slide, it doesn't have a roof vent for ventilation, so it has the two sidewall vents, upper and lower. And there's actually a blower fan in there that draws the air through to cool it down and exhaust it at the top. I put tire covers on my tires and X chocks. The X chocks are awesome. They really stop the motion inside the trailer, the rocking. And the tire covers protect the tires. The sun is the worst enemy of your tires and it'll uh, crack 
prematurely if they're just sitting all the time in the sun. The furnace vent and the uh, hot water vent out there. And then of course on this side, there's also access to the pass-through. And the emergency exit window, which I also hope we never have to use. We installed the RV lock, which is a electronic keypad. So is there a... There, yeah, there's a remote to have in the car. So you can either put in a code that you choose to open the door or you can use the remote to lock and unlock it. And then um, the Imagine line also comes with the more ride steps. So they fold up inside the trailer when you're moving. Now I can't fold it all the way in because it hits the wall with the railing. But that's how that works. And then we felt a little bit insecure with those steps going up and just using the handrail that comes from the factory. So I bought this handrail attachment that bolts onto the side, pre-drilled pre holes on the side of the steps that are designed for those bolts. Welcome to our camper. Come on in. So I want to point out to you the grandparents rules that we have on the wall. <laughs> And also our Compass Connect, this controls the lights, um, also the slides and the awnings, and it gives me readouts on the three holding tanks. And there's also a Bluetooth connection for that so that I can control it with my phone. So it makes it convenient if you're outside, you can control everything from outside with your phone. And then, uh, here we have our bathroom with a little vanity and the cubbies for the towels. And we have a full residential shower, lots of cabinets and drawers to store our stuff. The shower door is a squeegee door, so when it's wet and you open it, it squeegees the water up and into the shower pan like that feature. Nice skylight in there so if it's daylight you can see. We only have two doors other than the exterior door but they're both sliding barn doors which we really like because it doesn't take up a lot of space. So one is the bathroom door and the other slider is the bedroom door. Bye bye. <laughs> so this is our bedroom queen size bed, lots of storage. There's two drawers and two doors with cubbies on either side of the bed. And then there's a closet with two drawers over there. And then two above, of course. And the lights we really like, they're either blue if you want low light or you hold it in and it turns into a white light. And then one of our favorite features is the little cubbies on either side of the bed. There's um, two 110 outlets and two USB ports there so you can charge your devices. So with everybody having phones and iPads and watches that need charging overnight, that makes it really handy. One of our favorite features of the trailer is the opposing slides and the slide on the uh, back side has a table and four chairs. So the table's attached and doesn't go anywhere, but we like it a lot better than the dinette booths because we're more comfortable in the chairs. And also the chairs open and there's storage there for you to store your grandson's toys. In. <laughs> And then we have two recliners that are heated and vibrating and they have lights that come on underneath blue lights. So there's a heating function, they warm up and uh, they recline all the way back. And then, uh, you know, there's a couple of end tables. Um, this couch is a pull-out couch. 
another jackknife. So it pulls out like, you know, with a regular mattress on it. We've actually never used it, but it's there if we need it. And then another favorite feature of ours is the fireplace, which you can change colors on. Um, it works with heat, so you can set it for a different level of heat. So we've actually heated the whole trailer. I've never had the furnace running other than to test it. We use the fireplace all the time. And then, uh, oh, you can feel it. Yep. <laughs> So you can keep changing, there's all kinds of different colors. And of course there's a 43 inch TV above that. And a drawer that we store movies and flags and um, cup holders in. And then there's also this compartment. So. There's a stereo and a DVD player in there and it's connected to speakers inside, speakers outside. Oh yeah, it's still on. And storage above. Storage above as well. So James stores her tablecloths and dish rack up there. There's also storage up over the couch keep things that we don't use very often. Lights everywhere. One of Jane's favorite features is the pantry with the motion detector light. So lots of storage in there for your food and beverage items. So one of our favorite features in um, this model trailer is the island. So it gives you the sink and lots of counter space on either side and a nice residential faucet with the pull down. Changes from, you know, stream to a spray. I installed uh, three stage under the counter water filtration system so that we feel comfortable drinking the water and making coffee from it. The lots of storage and then that's the uh, filtration system I put in. three drawers on either side so we got all kinds of room for um, cutlery and towels and supplies like saran wrap we keep all our um, grilling equipment there on this side we have uh, the oven a, a stove top with the glass top rolls back and out of the way and also the um, range hood with a light and a fan and of course a microwave everybody has and these are Jane's little decorating touches and then we have our eight cubic foot thematic fridge and freezer works great Lots of room for everything for us. And then another of our favorite features is uh, the buffet. Grand Design calls it, but for us it's a coffee bar where we keep our Keurig and Keurig pods and the ice maker and a toaster. And then lots of covered space up top to store all your extra things. And a couple more drawers here for storage. Down underneath is the furnace which we don't use because we heat with the fireplace and um, I have a Hughes watchdog 50 amp um, electrical protector underneath there so that controls uh, the power input to the trailer and stops it from damaging any of the electronics so yeah I had um, Colton removed the original fan that came from the factory and install this um, high velocity fan for the kitchen and also with the um, max air cover on it so it's a max air fan and it's uh, multiple speeds and it's very quiet so this is helpful if you're cooking inside and you're generating steam or smoke that would normally set off the 
smoke detector. It draws all that out of the trailer. Can't even hear it. Turned up. It's running? Yeah. Even at high speed, it's a lot less noisy than the original, yeah. which we didn't change the one in the bathroom. The tech at Col Colton said, if I were you, those are, you know, these weren't cheap. Right. So he said, I would put it in the kitchen where the most of your um, smoke. smoke is and, you know, and, and leave the existing Every one in the time I cook, I would set up the smoke alarm. <laughs> Then, and I, I mean, I'm not burning it. I'm not burning it, but every time. Just, yeah, I mean, steam sets up. steam and everything would set it off. However, we cook mostly outside now. We only, almost primarily cook outside. Yeah. We, we just, our oven's never been on. Nope. Our microwave's really too small to cook anything anyway. We reheat things. Reheat or defrost. Yeah. Yep. I've defrosted a couple times. Popcorn. And we use uh, <laughs> crock pots and we have an electric frying pan in our right. grill and blackstone. Well, yeah, we Santa brought us a blackstone for Christmas last year, mm -hmm. so we cook it. Pretty much everything on that. It's great. Mm -hmm. And there you have it. Another awesome product by Grand Design. We absolutely love it. We know they do too. So subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of the other upcoming videos we have. And as always, happy, happy camping. camping. It's a 2970 RL. And I forgot where I was going after that. And there's Nate. There's Nate looking out the door, wishing he was out there. <laughs>